I'm Tony Fast, and my family's been blessed to be able to farm in Montana for over 100 years now. A lot has changed in those 100 years, and it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior, Jesus Christ. Well, we're back at it. Rain last night shut us down for a while this morning. Now uh, Dad's over spraying. Colin's getting those lentils seeded. We gotta get those lentils out of the drill because that inoculant on the seed isn't gonna last too much longer. Before that stuff starts going bad, it'll actually die because it's a living bacteria. So if it's exposed to the oxygen for too long before it gets put in the ground, it can die. Or so we're told. But I do tend to believe them. Um, and Amy's rolling. Kevin's going to get seed. I'm taking the service truck over. I'm not going to see any more canola until uh, the ground dries out more and they got more rain coming today. Canola seeds real uh, delicate on coming out of the ground and if it's too wet, we pack the ground too much, that seed might not come out. So we're going to wait till Monday to do that. One thing is, it's supposed to be really cold, like 28, which is cold for this time of year anyways. I know it gets colder. but. So, the longer that canola seed holds off to get seeded, it's probably the better. I don't think the top inch of the ground or half inch of the ground will freeze at that temperature, but better safe than sorry. Go run up to SCOBY in my favorite truck and uh, go get some certified wheat seed. That does not look like very much fun. Didn't get last year's harvest done in time. Harvesting first part of May the next year. Oof. Rained out for the moment. Gonna go pick up the land roller lady. Well you got a little rolled. quad the other quad so we really thought we were getting somewhere by pulling it one way and then pulling it back the other all we were doing is dragging the drill sideways the hitch sideways and then the cart wasn't really moving so I guess we'll try the big quad up to the front of the hitch with the strap mom is bringing our third strap over and uh, we're gonna hook up the other tractors each to a wing and just try and pull ease it straight forward Hopefully it works.
gonna try angling just a little bit to the right, get a little more leverage on everything. So I took the whole crew and I just missed all the festivities. Looks like you about had to get the tree tractor out for this one. My tractor was nice and clean from the rain too. That wasn't easy. More and chickens. So it was about 25 degrees last night. Tip the alfalfa pretty good. Not quite as vibrant as it was yesterday. Well, that kind of works. Need to figure out a way to pull that axle out easier than hooking a tractor to it yet, but it definitely slid out easier with that all smooth, tapered, square tubish thingamajigger than it was just those fins on a pipe. So we're getting somewhere. We just got to figure out something besides a hydraulic cylinder. We can, so we don't have to take any more hydraulic capacity, but. That might be our option too. I don't know. Well, we're running on canola again. Colin is seeding lentils back in the highway, about four or five miles away from them right now. They are putting granular inoculant down right now with those lentils. Did my land's really dirty. There, how's that? Put peat on when we treat. And that peat is good for at least a day and a half, we figure. Well, it froze last night, so the, that could have killed it. It's been sitting in the drill for three days because of the rain and the drill getting stuck, and now it's going again and whatnot, but it's uh, just too big of a risk to run without the inoculant. It'll, the lentils will really, really starve for nitrogen. They'll be lacking nitrogen because they can't create it without that bacteria that is in the inoculant. Anyways, I don't know why I'm telling you that, but now you know. But I got a blockage on, oh shoot, I think it was 56. Let's go see what's in it. So I've had quite a few questions about the tiger stripes in our fields. We're seeding the outside round here now. Like here's the edge of the field. You see two outside border rounds. So that's what's going on here. Whoop, back out a bit. Oh, good. Okay, so I'm just coming along my last pass here. As you can see, I've been seeding at an angle, five degree angle here. That way we get through the trash a little bit better with the drill. It's a little bit better job of dealing with the residue that we left. We want that residue out there because that's what's breaking down and giving us organic matter that makes the soil healthier. And that stubble also creates a nice, uh, almost greenhouse where it keeps the wind down, blocks the wind for the little seedlings coming out of the ground. So lots of little factors go into it. 
if I could see it with one drill and follow the exact same path across the field year to year, that's what i do. And then you wouldn't even tell besides the tractor tracks that I had been in the field. It would all be standing up right yet. So, there you go. That's why. So I'm up in the next field here and I screwed up and didn't order fertilizer early enough. So I'm set up here waiting for the co-op to drop off a load of fertilizer and then I'll get going going on the next field right about I don't know if I can even point it out perfectly see these trees here just to the right call uh, Kevin's rolling way up over here you can barely see a steeple of a church sticking up on the horizon Colin's seed and lentils right there and I'm really not sure where dad's at somewhere in this general 10 mile radius area, five mile radius. Coming up on a mud hole and it's just gonna be pretty dark by the time I get there. A couple more passes yet and we'll be there though. again third time on this field the only one that's plugged so far I'm not sure what's going on maybe there's a rock or something stuck somewhere but I'm gonna go find out oh, I forgot my flashlight oh well oh wait got one right there that will be the trouble right there a little bit of fertilizer moisture built up inside the sensor to get for seeding in the rain Morning windmill, you can turn the heat up anytime now. Well, I'm just finishing up this canola field. Uh, the cold weather we've had and the wind, we really haven't been able to get the sprayer going again. So, too windy to spray and too cold for the plants to take in the chemical. So, the only thing we got sprayed is wheat acres. We're, like, we're gonna plant wheat on those acres, I should say. And, uh, Colin's moving up there to seed one of the 300 acre fields with the other drill. I am gonna finish up this field and move to the other 300 acre field that's sprayed, switch back to wheat. I'm really getting tired of switching crops. But uh, that's all we can do today. We can knock out both those fields, which it's too late to get both of them done today. But um, that's the plan. We're hoping for some little warmer weather and the wind to go down. So. Yeah, this is all that's left. Just this little 100 yards. And moving.
hear that? There's a moose. On the loose. Weight meters are back in. We got weed in the onboard right there. It's all pretty and pink. Here comes a fertilizer. It is miserable today. It's like 40 degrees and 30 mile an hour winds and sprinkling and humid and when's spring coming? I want to know. Just want to know. Dad seeding back here uh, a half mile from this intersection where North that where he's seeding and then this corner over here, Colin seeding. We'll seed in uh, spring wheat now. There's the seed. And where's there's some fertilizer right there. White little specks. There's more fertilizer. A little bit deeper. Seeds over here to the side. A little bit higher. Let's go down. Find the fertilizer, and we make bread. Let's stop and look in the fertilizer tower and see if we're getting some moisture build up from the sprinkles. Okay. Might get a little noisy here, but... Getting a little bit of zinc build up, so I think we're probably going to shut her down. Taylor, to the dad. Yeah. There is a little bit of that zinc fertilizer dust uh, building up in the towers here, so we'll probably quit when you get to the end for a while. Okay, now get to the west end and stop. Thanks for watching everyone. Nice little uh, rain delay again, so uh, you'll be able to catch up on some sleep in the morning. But uh, don't forget, you can get the Farm Focused website, you can get all the uh, fast ag, yeah I said it right that time, hats, shirts, windmill shirts, that guy. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Share the channel, and uh, you'll catch your next video.